Greetings everyone and welcome back to Fuzzy Fairy Farm where I am carrying a purple cake. Or rather a pink cake. Hello, hello. Right, let's kick things off with the Queen of Sauce today. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, pumpkin pie. In my house, it is a tradition to eat pumpkin pie during the Feast of the Winter Star. The season just isn't complete without that wonderful flavor you can only achieve with the finest farm fresh pumpkins. A little nutmeg, some cinnamon, and a clove will sweep you off your to a land of crimson and gold. Crimson and gold? Wow, okay. Uh, there we go. We now know how to make pumpkin pie. And what about Welwick? The spirits are a good humor today. Fantastic. And the weather report? Uh, bundle up, folks. It's going to snow tomorrow. No, oh, okay. Well, that's not so great. Now then, first and foremost, allow me to apologize for the fact that there was no... Uh, Start you upload yesterday. Oh my lord, so many things for me to do at the moment with my house move being significantly closer than uh, first imagined, thanks to uh, the move being pushed forward by about two weeks. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be moving to my new house next week. Wow, that's an awful lot of stuff I now need to uh, get sorted in a very short space of time. You get right, Abak, how are you doing? Hope the winter hasn't been too hard on you. Anyway, I'm right to ask you for some hardwood. I need about ten pieces if you've got it. If not, no worries. Take care, Robin. Oh, I'm, I'm sure I can get that to you, Robin. Not a problem at all. In fact, let me... Oh. Maybe a little bit more of a problem than I first realised. Just a tad. Tad more of a problem than first thought. Actually, we've got a few things that I would like to uh, drop off in here, don't we? Yes, we have... Five cave carrots. Pretty impressed, honestly, with that. And you know what else I want? Um... Is there actually anything? I could make the mine treat now if I particularly wanted to. And there's kind of a little bit more. Uh, yes, actually, I wouldn't mind making one of those. Oh, I'm a cock now. I'll make two. Two for going to the mines. There we go. The rest should, of my peppers should be made into pepper poppers. There will never be a time when I don't want that. Ever, 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 never, ever. Uh, and on that note. You know what? Let's start off the day by eating some of these pepper poppers. Yoink. Yes. There we go. Now I'll be moving super duper fast. There we go. And it'll last for a very long time, which is the main thing. Uh, I'd, oh, I should have dropped the green algae off in there as well, but oh well, I didn't. Um, my inventory is just full of stuff. Ancient sword. I need to go to Gunther. Okay. Right. Well, today... At long last, I imagine, many of you will cry out. I'm actually going to work on organizing the inventory in all of the chairs. And I'm going to do that largely on camera, but once I've done it the first time, I probably won't uh, do it again. If, if inventory needs to change, I might just recap it in the future. But I figure that since so many people have asked me to do it, um, I, I will actually do that one on camera for everyone to see and also just to uh, go over my thought process i guess uh let's go ahead and get that in there i do need to drop off these things that we're just wandering around with for no apparent reason before we even get to that let me drop those off uh no everything else is okay all uh, right well first thing in the morning though before we get to any kind of uh organization we need to go and say hello to our ducks and our chickens, a Boreda Paub. Or, you know, not just hello, but Boreda. Uh, hello, chicken. Uh, I mean, duckling. I mean, you quack like a duck. Hmm. That, that's going to cause some questions to be asked, I imagine. But let's get all of this going. I'm really happy to have so many... Um, there we go. So many mayo machines here. That's going to make everything so much easier. Uh, still, I'm going to definitely keep the smaller eggs, smaller white eggs, in the kitchen. I think that's the best place for them. Let's go check on the bats. Hello, bats. Uh, okay, you know what, I'll just take it. Thank you very much. Gold star, nothing to sniff at. Nothing to sniff at at all. I'll go grab these while I'm here. And just load that straight up. Do need to make more crab pots. More crab pots, more crab pots, more crab pots. Ah. You know what? Uh, I'm going to have to buy... <clears throat> I think I will have to buy a second milk pail. Eventually. Simply because there are more things that produce milk than just cows. I'll eventually need it in the goat barn as well. Excuse me. Uh, 
The cold weather does make me sneeze an awful lot. My lord. Let me just make sure that everyone is uh, happy right now. There we are. Good, good, good. Right, I would like your milk and your milk also. Got one iridium milk, which is good. Uh, I've got any more? No, just two iridium. You know what? I'm just going to sell the... Uh, sorry, I'll cheese the silver stars out of the way. Thank you. And I'll sell the iridiums. There we go. And this can pop in there. There we are. Now, how much more hay have we got in there? <laughs> We've got loads. We've got loads. We're already here most of the way through winter. There is nothing that we're going to have to worry about with that. Oh, Boreta. They're so cute. Here we go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. There we go. Okay, sorted. Uh, right then. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where? Ooh. Oh, thank goodness. I was about to be very upset. What are we going to get today? We got four copper and two coal. Two coal is actually quite a lot of coal. Uh, considering that would require quite a lot of wood in order to get, at the very least. Uh, let's go ahead. I think we've got some copper in here. Uh, actually, before we get down... Oh, you know what? Before we get down to business of organizing things, I will go and get the hardwood and we'll go and satisfy that wee quest there for Robin. Right, now I would like to vendor that. I'm going to keep those for the house. That can be vended. This, this, anything else in here need to be vended? No, we're good. And, oops, okay, aggro, I am putting you in the most awkward place. Now, the, the kind of way I'm going to separate it up, as I've mentioned previously, and, and thanks to uh, comments which suggested it, we're going to be making this so that uh, certain chests will contain certain types of items, like where you find them from. So, for example, we'll have a place for mined items, a place, that, and that might include some things like the uh, bars of metal that you don't mind they are technically artisan goods but we'll we'll include them in the mining chest i think vincent loves grape he told me i will bear this in mind and so should you for later though i'm fairly certain that you and vincent are probably best friends already all right hello merchant man or woman uh oh now that is like a uh, that is like a, a chair that you would sink into i imagine it's made of Mm, I'm going to say it's probably leather chair, and you'd have it at a writing desk. Mm. Also, a daffodil. I'm never going to pass up a chance to buy a daffodil. The Welshman in me would not allow that. I will take all of that, though. Thank you. Our first bit of swanky furniture for the house. Fantastic. All right. Agro, no need for you to come any further. You stay back and safe, please. There we go. I need my hatchet. Ah, good times. Lots of blue slimes down here, though. My lord. Ouch. Could you please face the right way, you derp? My goodness, there are a lot of them. Wow. Is this some sort of blue slime convention down here? Hello. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to thin out your population a bit. I wonder if they've been breeding because I haven't been attacking them. Hmm. Uh, I'm fairly certain that is not the case. I'm fairly certain that the monsters despawn if they spawn naturally. If you spawn them, then it's a different story. But if they spawn naturally, I don't think they persist. You can absolutely have, or at least I'm told, by the comments, and the comments wouldn't lie to me, no, no, no. Um, I'm told that you can absolutely have outdoor slimes on your farm that will not despawn, even on a monster farm. If you hatch them, then they'll live there. The only difference between uh, slimes that you hatch, like outdoors, and that can breed, and ones that you hatch in your... Uh, in the slime hutch, is that the ones that are hatched in the slime hutch will potentially create uh, slime eggs, so you can get a lot of slime from that without actually having to kill the slimes, which is you know pretty good. If, if your goal is to get slime, then that's... that's Fine. Let's grab you, and I'll grab this forage as well. Okay, Agro. Uh, we're gonna head through town. We might say hello to people, but we're not gonna go to the to the mines today. Oh, hi, Abby. How are you doing today? 
Oh, hello. I made these two drawings. What do you think? I like the jungle island and the tiger. I like the orc with the battle axe. I don't like either of them. I like the orc with the battle axe. I'm glad. It's embarrassing to share your art with others. But I think you and I are on the same page. Oh, ho, ho. that was very punny, Abby. Very punny indeed. Uh, moving on. Right. I actually like both, honestly. Where was the option for that? I just appreciate her artistic flair. But of the two, I, I do kind of like the orc with the battle axe a little bit more. Hello. Now then. Was there anything I wanted to give you? There is not. Actually, never mind then. Sorry. Sorry, Clint. Uh, what am I doing? What a jerk. I just walk in. Uh, Clint? No, I'm going to go somewhere else. So, are your tools holding up? Um, pretty good, actually. Is that it? Oh, okay. Pretty good. Thank you very much. You've made fantastic tools. I do need to get some more of them upgraded, though. Hello, Gunther. I have got an ancient sword. I will place it over there. Okay. Thank you. Bye. I probably need to organize my uh, my displays in there as well a little bit better. And by a little bit better, I mean a lot better. It's pretty bad at the moment. I've got ancient stuff with non-ancient stuff. I've got minerals with gems. It, it's just chaos. I get so sleepy when it's cold. Oh, I, I, I wake up more. I feel like I, I can do a thousand more things than I can actually do. Which is a problem, because then I plan for those thousand things that I can't do. And then I'm met with the harsh realities that, no, no, I just feel like I've got superpowers in this, though. I don't actually have them. Well, that's what I'm saying, to throw you off my secret identity. <laughs> Today, I'm just going to relax and think positively. Good, good, good. The snow makes me think positively, too. Also, that... Well, I mean, this is part part and parcel for the uh, the whole problem of thinking I can do a thousand more things than I actually can. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Hey, yeah. Uh, feel free to have as much lumber and stone from this area as you please. Oh, thank you very much. Come through. Thank you. Hello. Hi, Abba. It's good to see you. I'm glad. Here's the hardwood you requested. Oh, you brought it! I can know I I know I can always count on you, Avak. Oh, thank you. That's really sweet of you to say. Mm -hmm. This wood is perfect. It's exactly what I needed. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Also, Sebastian. There you go. I really love this. How did you know? Ah, well, you know. It's a farmer's job to know what everyone in the, his community wants. Uh, let us shop, shall we? Oh, so good. So good. But I can't afford it! No! No, why? 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 Why, world? Why have you done this to me? Uh, I'm going to sell all of that. Um, I need a lot more. So much more. I need so much more. I'll be right back! <laughs> Do not go anywhere! I'm sorry. Uh, oh, hey! The Grim Ball game is on today. Well, good. I'm glad. Bye! Bye, 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 bye. I need that. I need that cap so bad. Need it. Need it now. It is the perfect, perfect companion to my brown armchair. This will be the beginning of a beautiful house decoration episode. Oh, well, actually, not this episode, but you know what I mean. Uh, aggro, today's not the day. Today is super not the day. All right, aggro, need remarkably large amounts of cash. No, Piers is closed. What can I do? What can I do? What have I got? Have I got enough? I don't think, no. I've got, I've got a ridiculous amount of stone, but that's not going to do me any good. <sighs> well, massive levels of poop. Oh, well. I refuse to feel bad about this. I got a daffodil. I may not have the, the perfect couch to go with my armchair, but I've got a daffodil. And it is impossible not to appreciate the good things in your life when you're carrying around a daffodil. This is why Welsh people are so happy all the time. Uh, right, okay, well, there are a few things I want to do with this room. Let's move that. I know it's a gigantic thing, and yes. No, no, don't eat the... Pick up the... No, no! Pick it up, thank you. Uh, we'll pop this by there. How big are you? And if I turn you around, you can actually fit there? Surely not. Um, let's pop you there. Uh, you're going... Picky Lemon, come with me. There we go. Uh, you, you can go in that corner, even though it's kind of uh, weird. Um, 
I would like you to come over there as well. We will still have this little rug there for now. Um, this can go elsewhere. The Christmas tree needs to go somewhere. It, it needs to not go in front of a painting, though. That is dumb. Uh, we'll pop that one there. Uh, this is not a good setup. I, don't don't worry. I, I realize that this is bad. Okay? It's not that I think this is a good place to put everything. It's just that it is a place to put everything for now. And will work for the time being. No, that's, that's terrible. Let's move these around just a little bit more. Uh, this kind of works, I guess. Um, or maybe, 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 I need this light closer into the kitchen area. Uh, my house is just full of random rubbish. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I called you rubbish. Even though you are. Come on. There we go. I... Look. I know I really wanted to display you because you're rare, but no. And I also don't need that out either. I mean, these are lovely. You're just... You have a certain aesthetic that I'm just not the right person to appreciate. Okay? It's me. It's not you. It's me. And I, and I know this. And I hope you know this. Okay? We're just not a good fit. Uh, let's have that there. I like this little window, but until I've got more like it, then it's going to have to go elsewhere. Um, now then. Sure, this can now go above there. I would like this. Um, that's fine to stay there, and I kind of like this vase too. Though, that being said, I wouldn't mind a little, little potted plant over there instead. So, let's... Let's have a potted plant there. The vase can go over here instead. There we go. That looks quite nice there, I think. Not not super fond of that area there. I think I need to do a little bit more to, to open that area up a bit. Getting another window like that there would be grand, in my opinion. Um, I love this, and I want it to be central, but for the time being, I think having it central is awkward. I guess I could put it there and it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put this on here instead. Can I Can I get you up? There we go. That looks a bit nicer, I think. Just a little bit of moving things around and everything has started to come together. Everything is coming together. Um, now, that's, that's, that's honestly just a good position for that all to be there. Uh, where would you go then? I like having the windows in the kitchen. I think it looks lovely. But I then don't have a good spot for this particular painting. I guess I can put it over there. Um, it's not the best position, ultimately. Can I also grab this? There we go. Pop that one there. And we can have this one just over there. Another two windows. I wish that, that was a little bit wider. It's not, so, you know, wishing for it is no good. But... I will continue to wish. Uh, place that in there. The crystal fruit can go in there as well. Um, the decorative lantern needs to go elsewhere. I'll eventually find a place to put the decorative... Oh, can I put the decorative lantern on here? No. That's a shame. I would totally have put it on there in real life. Uh, okay. That's... Honestly, just accepting that I don't need to have those those... Um, things around the place has helped a lot. I could put that over there. It's not a lovely setup, but it's a better setup than we had previously, I think. Maybe pop this over there, perhaps. Yeah, I, I kind of like it. It would have been much better if I could have had a couch, because then I would have used this over there. But for now, that'll do. It's it's looking a little, little tiny bit better. All uh, right, Agro, you can stay in there for now. Um, there's probably going to be a bat flying toward me any moment, but we're going to go in here, and we are going to plant the pumpkins. Wow, we got some good pumpkins out of that. My lord. We are going to make bank today. Okay, well, let's grab all of the pumpkins then. All coming with me. Every single one of you. Come on. 
It is time for the pumpkins to march. Uh, grab these pumpkins too. This is going to be a lot of money. And oh my goodness, we are going to make so much cash tonight. It is a little bit crazy how much money is going to come through from this. This many melons and this many pumpkins. Eek. I'm almost embarrassed about how much money we're about to make. Uh, right, let's grab you. A lot of them are pretty high tier as well. Okay, well, let's get that area set up. I want to drop this off. We're going to need a little bit more, but uh, for now we'll just get these pumpkins down. Basically, we want to plant the pumpkins everywhere that we've got the highest grade fertilizer. Get some more pumpkins. Uh, actually, we've got regular pumpkins. Yes, we have. So we'll, we'll start pop, popping these into the seed maker. Get some more. Uh, we are also going to want all of these and make a lot of fertilizer out of that. And then we can just drop that off into the box there and not have to worry about it in the future. There we go. I mean, we've got so much that we really don't need to worry that much about it. Let's get you going, and you. I'm going to need to uh, leave shortly, though. That is such a shame. Need more seed makers, frankly. Need a lot more seed makers. We've also got a lot of strawberries as well. We get. Should have popped in here earlier. Spent so much time faffing around in the house. It does take a lot of time, because time does not pause when this is happening. Um, which is quite the shame. I'm going to try and get as many of these planted, though, before um, we have to leave. So, I guess we will leave, no matter what, at one, I would say. Uh, sorry, yeah, half one. I need to water this little area. Yeah, half one is reached. So, we're off. We're not even going to stop for anything else. Right, we have not got time to play with you bats, sorry. We're not going to make a lot of money today. We'll make a lot of money tomorrow. That is fine. I'm happy with having redesigned the house a little bit. There we go. See? I made the I made the sensible thing. Oh, my lord. I'm too used to streaming now. I looked up the camera to talk to you. Um, I did the sensible thing of leaving when I said I was going to leave. And we got home just in time. But I know where I can I can get to in, a t in, in that much time. Wow. Okay. Level 7 combat. We can now make a ring of Yuba. And level 9 foraging, we can make the rain totem. What? I do not remember this rain totem. Made a little bit of money, but we're, we're sitting on ridiculous amounts of cash right now. Ridiculous amounts of money is in our back pocket. How I'm carrying that many pumpkins? I mean, you can get small pumpkins. You genuinely can, like ones that you can just carry in, in one hand. It's, it's about the size of, if you've got a big hand, like a bald fist. It's almost, like, you know, tiny pumpkins, the size of Swedes, basically. Which is what you can have if you haven't got enough money to get pumpkins. Your family's kind of poor, which is what my brother and I used to do. We'd carve Swedes. Um, but uh, most pumpkins are gigantic. Certainly these ones look like gigantic pumpkins. How am I carrying 12 pumpkins on top of 11? No, no, 21 melons. My lord, my pockets must be bulging. We're ripe for some sort of curious joke at the moment. Uh, right, get it right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Unintentional puns are the best puns. Uh, foraging, fishing. Comets still got a long ways to go, but we'll get there. Now, I'm thinking... Oh. Hello. Oh, good morning, Mr. Avak. I hope it's not too early. Well... I just wanted to stop by and thank you in person for all the wonderful artifacts and minerals you've discovered. You've done so much for one person. In fact, I've just received a letter from the Office of the Regional Secretary of Artifacts. We're being honoured with the coveted Golden Shovel Award for our significant contributions to the field. And it's all thanks to you. Well, I should let you get back to your work. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. It's an old key that's been sealed in the museum vault for at least 100 years. It's a little rusty, but still beautiful. You got the rusty key. It's been added to your wallet. <laughs> that was not expected and is super awesome. Oh my god, there's so much stuff to do around the farm. Right, okay. Well, it's Monday. Agro, you and I... Well, first, 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 first. First, super first. There you go, Leafy. 
Enjoy. Agro, I'll be right back. I need to uh, go and pop some things into the refrigerator. May as well do these things now. But we really need to go and sell stuff. Like, super bad. Super, super bad. Pop that over there. And then we can come back and do the rest of the stuff around the farm. Right, so, first and foremost, all these going in there. Now, is there anything I can cook with melons? Um, eel, common mushroom, morel mushroom, leek, dandelion. I need to move the dandelions up here. Yams, I should have left them in there. Green algae, I really should put them in there. Potatoes, squid. Uh, void of mayonnaise, that is going to be difficult. Um, salmon, amaranth, kale. Basically, any fish need to go in here. That's that's a given. Uh, sardines, hash browns, that needs... Uh, potato, omelettes. I, I can put omelettes in there to make the farmer's lunch. Honestly, I'll just make the farmer's lunch, like, on the day where I want to do it. I go, boop, and then I go, boop. There we go, I've got a farmer's lunch. Um, is anything in here need... Melons, though. Oh, wait. I need to check all of these things because uh, the ones that are highlighted will also be showing up properly. I was like, right. Okay, well, since I've not got any melons in there, it's not going to show up. But no, it will because I'm carrying the melons on my person right now. Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay. Well, the melons don't need to be dropped off then. It's good for me in a way. Uh, the winter roots do, though. So we'll leave that as is. There we go. Oh, there's so much we need to pick up. But aggro, um, I'll just drop these off for the for the second. I'll drop them off. And the reason why I'm going to do that is that I would very very much like to uh, get. Oh, there we are, dandelions. You're coming with me. Um, I would very much like to get all of the chickens and, and the cows seen to today. I just feel weird prioritizing things above my animals. That should be the first thing that you do in the morning. You shouldn't go about doing other stuff. You need, you need to, to remember what's most important. And I shouldn't have to tell anyone that that's the animals. And not, not, not from the money sense either. The animals because it's the animals. Hello. There we are. I like I like the sort of echoey cluck they do sometimes. And our chick has grown up. How marvelous. I am super happy with that. Uh, wait, we've got an iridium egg? How, how fantastically good. I, ooh, I need to get over there. Ooh, 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 out of the way. Out, uh, out, 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 out. There we go. Thank you. Right, an iridium egg is going to be sold direct. So I can just see how much they are. There we go. We got, yeah, we got a reasonable amount there. Actually, a reasonable amount. Right, aggro, if you could. I'll sell them direct. Ooh, you know what, though? Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, I'm not going to sell the iridium egg. The iridium egg is going to be going to. Shane. Because Shane likes iridium, uh, likes eggs. If I can give him an iridium egg, that is going to be even more super awesome. Because it does have an effect on people, on how much someone gets from the gift. How much of an effect that gift has. The quality now has increasing amounts. And iridium, as you might imagine, is the best one. It's not quite as high as I was initially thinking. I, I was thinking like, uh, oh, you get like uh, an extra 100% for gold or something like that. It's not. I think it's the extra 50% at gold. But iridium is, is pretty high up there. Uh, wow, we didn't actually get much in the way of milk today. That's fine, though. Let's just uh, pop these in there. There we go. I may need this milk pail. Sorry, girls. I'll be right back. I may need it today. Nope. Still babies. There you go. So now I've got to head back to hand in the milk pail. And then we're going to go straight to PAs and we're going to bankrupt them. Not quite. Thankfully, actually. I, I, that, would, that would feel rather awful. Having the, the choice. Well, I could be filthy rich. Or I could not bankrupt... 
one of my friends, you know? It, difficult choice, I like money, but I also like my friends, hence them being my friends. Uh, oh, we've got 500 gold for that that I didn't pick up yet. Thank goodness that doesn't go away, because I would, I would be so out of pocket with those sorts of things. My lord. Right, we should also check the uh, calendar. I think we're coming up to a birthday shortly, are we not? Um, oh yes, it's Leah's birthday. No wonder that was in my mind. I need a large mouth bass for the dish I'm making. Uh, well, I, could, uh, I think I've only got one, I'm afraid, so that's a no on that. Hello. Uh, would you like a cheese? Oh goodness, are you sure? I am, in fact, sure. I'm getting some supplies from the saloon. Uh, for the saloon. Peter's got the good stuff. I know. I give it to him. Animals are so innocent. So sweet. If I don't look after them, who will? Well, the animals are reasonably good at looking after themselves. I just hope my chickens aren't too upset when I take their eggs. I'm sure they're not. I'm sure they're not. You know what? Here we go. Have a gold star crocus. Thank you. You're more than welcome, money. Hello there. You can't grow any crops in the winter, so I have no seeds to offer you. Nevertheless, I will tell you that I do, on occasion. Sometimes I'll just feel like being honest. That's very kind of you. I like this. I'm glad. Sashimi is one of the best, because it genuinely is. Right. Making super amounts of money is... What? 600 gold? 1,000 gold? My lord. It's rather amazing. 228 for that one large egg. That is pretty good in and of itself, but, uh, yeah. I, what does the Roots Platter give? It gives a little bit of combat, but overall I'd say it's not one of the better things that I can have. So sure, you can have all of my Roots Platter as well. There you go. Um, here you go, Abby. Hey, how do you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. Om nom 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 nom. Ah, Abby. Right. Okay, Agro, we need to head back. We have got many, many things to do. So many things to do. And we are not going to get any of them done in town. And yes, I know I've got a key. And maybe I will go and use that key today. Maybe. I promise nothing. Nothing is being promised right now. Uh, let's drop off the cheese. Oh, actually, we've got enough to make a load more pepper poppers, which is always grand. I like having pepper poppers. We'll make another five sashimi as well. I really do think this, this room is starting to look a little bit more organized now. A little bit better here and there. Uh, okay, well, let's go grab this. There we go. There we go as well. Uh, did we load up the crab pots with bait? Let me double check. No, we did not. Okay, well, just as well I checked then. Uh, actually, I think we may have even missed the date. No! No, 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 no. We want a little bit of everything. There we go. Come on. All of them. Uh, we might have to pop into the greenhouse to pick up the fertilizer so that we can get more of these done. Uh, I think... Actually, no. We've only got six days. No more planting. No more planting outside. That's it for this. Okay, there we are. So a lot of those can be just directly sold now. Ah, right, we're going to have a lot of fertilizing to do now. Um, Alright, let me move that up there. And... Oh, drat. I haven't brought my pumpkins back. I'm going to need to go and grab those first. Be right back. And then, we'll pro... Well, we probably will go to the... The, uh, to check out what the key is. Just for anyone who hasn't seen the first series and thus doesn't know what's there, it would be a little bit cruel of me to say, no, no, you're just going to have to wait. Because um, it is pretty funky. Uh, however, I want quite a decent amount of these grown. In fact, I wouldn't mind some... Yeah, cranberries. Uh, let's grab some... Oh, well, we're not going to be carrying those with us. Let's drop off... Well, we'll just throw a lot of stuff in here. Um, snow yams can go. The roots can come with. The crocuses can go. The blueberries... Uh, that one can go, at least. Okay, that's good enough. 
And off we go. There we are. Let's drop off the blueberries. And drop off the roots. Okay, these roots are going as well. Oh, did I drop off the dandelions? Yes, I did. Perfect. I do need to restock on some of the uh, things like sugar and vinegar and the likes. That would probably be wise. We'll get rid of the golden and silver star roots. There we are. Now we can pick up some more things. Right, we're bringing these along. We're bringing these along. And, um... Yeah, I'm good with that, actually. Right, let's go. I'm thinking this would be a good place for a shed. Given what I would intend to do with it. And that is, of course, that I would like to set up uh, the preserve jars and the kegs near to where I, uh, the, I gather the things that I'm going to want to put in those things. So, near the greenhouse is the best place for that. There we go. Now then, I am going to require that we get a bunch of cranberries. Uh, I think these are cranberries over here. We're going to go with some more cranberries, just for the uh, regular earning. Uh, we are going to get... We're going to need quite a lot of fertilizer now, actually. That may be enough. Let's go ahead and fertilize all of the soil. There we are. And... Dup, 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 dup. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I will also have to water all of that, annoyingly, but uh, oh, we'll... we'll will survive, of course. Uh, grab this. And we want some more pumpkins. Go with those ones first. Only two cranberries out there. Wow. Okay. Uh, we're also going to need some more cranberries then. But up here we'll have the pumpkins. We'll get those watered as well. Now, before too long, we're going to be able to re um, start replacing these sprinklers with better ones. Now, the reason why I'm so confident about that is to do with the key. We will see in the moment exactly what that offers, but uh, anyone who's seen the first series already knows once you get that key, you really do open up access to a lot of the more interesting um, tools around the farm, I'd say. Uh, we may not actually get any more melons. Um... I really do like pumpkins, you see. Mostly because they are a loved gift of Abby. Drop these off. Don't need any more. Need one more for that area. Really? Just two again? My goodness. Well, we're going to get six at the very least, but I'm quite surprised with that. Quite, quite surprised. May as well water it, I suppose. Go do that. One, two. One, two. And then one over here as well. Are we only going to have two? No. <laughs> now it finally gives us loads. Oh, well, I guess we'll pop these over here and we just won't have a melon this time. Which means I need to store the majority... Well, actually... We can just start working through the melons. I only need a couple, just so I can grow some and then get uh, the requisite seeds from them. Should be fine. There we are. One more than I needed, but that's perfectly okay. We'll drop that in there. And get that going. There we go. All right, we've got enough melon seeds now. That'll, that'll be fine. I'll sell these ones, I think, just so we can get a little bit more money. We're going to need quite a lot. If I want to build a shed, it's going to take 10k. Which is, you know, quite a lot. Uh, there we go. And we're done with the greenhouse for the time being, then. All right, aggro. I know I said I was going to... I swear I was going to. I swear I was going to organize my inventory. It's just, just fate. Fate has conspired with awesome amounts of produce to make it very difficult for me to justify doing that right now. Uh, okay, we're good enough. We will pop the peppers in there later. Now, off to use the key. Now, that is going to require that uh, we go to the south. 
you don't have to eventually. I, I think you might actually be able to use it straight up in the town, but I know that the most obvious place, and like, in terms of the story, this is where I thought to go first. So I'll, I'll persist with that since it, it kind of has more of the narrative going on. Prehistoric tool. Oh, wow. Okay. Another thing that, that Gunther hasn't seen before. That's awesome. But as you may have already guessed, that... Oh, no, okay. The rusty key is for the sewer entrance that we saw so long ago. Wow, okay. Another artifact for Gunther. He gets. Wasn't expecting that. Right. Aggro. You're going to have to... No, no. Aggro, stay there. Thank you. Yoink. You unlock the sewer hatch with the rusty key. Now we can go inside. And, yeah, it's a sewer. It's not very nice. And it's full of this green, hazy mist. Oh, that's interesting. Um, and over here, we have Krobus. A human visitor? This is most unusual. I'm Krobus, merchant of rare and exotic goods. And this? Wow, you sell void eggs? Really? That's impressive. Yeah, I'll take one of those for 5k. Crazy expensive. And then it's 20k for a startup. It only sells one of those, but it's kind of worth doing. Now, Krobus likes certain things, and you can bring those certain things. Um, you can buy slime, for example. You can buy all of the essences that you'll ever need. Um, you can... Oh, oh, wicked statue recipe. What? Two million? The golden handle quivers with raw potential. Hold this scepter to the sky and return home at will. What? So that's a qu Okay, I'm going to guess two million. Reasonable. Because that is basically going to be a reusable farm totem. All right. Well, that's fair. Now, Krobus likes a few things. Uh, horseradishes, for example. Krobus is particularly fond of. Uh, we can pop up there. Now that we've got Krobus on... Now we've met Krobus, Krobus will show up down here. Uh, Krobus and the Dwarf have an interesting history. Um, oh, there's some kind of force field blocking your path. I thought that looked different. My goodness, okay. That scared the dickens out of me. Uh, Alright, well... There appears to be more going on there than I remember. Fantastic. I'm assuming that little force field thing is new. Uh, right. Let's move on and back to the farm where we can actually do some of the inventory management that I was promising right at the beginning of this video. Uh, let's go through there. I'm going to need to buy another milk pill, as I mentioned. There's a couple of things I need to do. Uh, we don't have much wood, though. And that is, in and of itself, actually a little bit of a problem for me. But the first thing I would like to do... Oh. Artifact. Okay. Well, that's that's cool. Uh, I'm actually going to use this, though, as a monster loot area. So we're going to take all the Void S. Anything that comes from a monster, we're putting in there. Uh, anything else in here? No. Okay. Uh, there shouldn't be anything in here that comes from a monster. But definitely the bat wings. Definitely the slime. The bug meat as well. All coming. Um, now, some things will drop from monsters. But I'm thinking specifically of items you get from... Uh, that, that, that makes sense from a monster. Uh, I guess we could... Well, you know what? Let's, let's call this the mining chest. Or, or the combat slash mining chest. It's not specifically the things that I get... Uh, like ores, because they'll go into the, the kind of metals chest and the furnace chest, that sort of thing. And I think gems will go in there as well. But perhaps the sort of miscellany that you get in the mines. So the bombs, for example, that would go in there. The geos will go in with the mining and the ores. Uh, I, th I think that's a reasonable setup. The, the earth crystal, the frozen tear, those will go in there as well. Uh, is there anything else? Because otherwise that chest just seems kind of lonely and pointless. Uh, there we go. So, I think that'll be okay. Let me know if you think that's a reasonable setup for that kind of thing. We'll also have, like, you know, stuff that we dig up. Uh, right. As for a mining chest, do we actually have enough 
Oops. No, we really don't. Frustrating. Um, I need a forage chest and I need a produce chest. Okay. Oh, we've got potatoes and yams. All right. Well, we may need to uh, get those growing as well. We definitely need a mining chest, though. So how about I take everything out of here that has got nothing to do with mining. Um, and my inventory is already full. And transplanted into a different chest for now. Those can go straight out. Um, these seeds. I'm going to drop some things off in here. I'm thinking I need to just get rid of a load of my produce as well. Just to get it out of my inventory for the time being. Uh, the roots can go in there as well. Oh, the bug meat. That's right. I need to put the bug meat in the uh, the mining slash combat chest. Miscellany in there. General miscellany. Uh, these, I guess I can actually move those to a place inside. I probably should, actually, thinking about it. Also, why is the dish of the sea in there? My lord. Let's go and move these out. I'm trying to think of the categories that I would want. But combat is... There's so little that would be in the combat chest. I mean... Actually, on second thoughts... I think I will actually have just a pure combat chest. And the reason why I'm going back on that is that the only reason I'm avoiding it right now is I've got so few chests. But I need to plan for having more chests. Because that that's only a, a temporary limitation. No matter how you look at it, that's not going to be how it's always going to be. It would be silly to plan around it that way. Um, can I drop off anything else in here? Yeah, see, the, the multiple corals. I think I'm going to get rid of the coral and move it elsewhere. Also, if I'm going to be putting things in there, let's make all of that into fertilizer. And I'll transfer it later. Uh, you can pop the mushroom over here since I've already got mushrooms in there. And we're going to go and just sell a bunch of stuff. Let's get rid of all these things that I've just been holding on to for no other reason than I'm a massive hoarder and find it hard to, to decide when I don't want something. I flat out don't need these false seeds. Flat out don't need it. I don't need the basic water retaining soil. I'm never going to use it. Why I'm holding on to it. The speed grow would kind of make sense, but honestly, I'll just make more at some later later stage. There's no reason to hold on to those things. They can all go. All right. What else comes from the mines? Uh, we'll grab all of these for now. I know I said I, I was going to have these in a specific sort of um, ore chest, but thinking about it, probably not necessary. You may as well have all of this in a kind of mining chest. Let's drop all of those off. These as well. The geos should all be in there as well. Okay, that's good. I'll drop that off in there for now. Uh, the refined quartz. I guess that can come with, with and be put into here. Even though that's kind of a refined thing, I, I guess we, we, we're having some refined items in this, so it makes sense. Uh, the torches, that's going to be my, my sort of general adventure stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that there's a little bit more organization now. We want somewhere that is for things that are purely forage in nature, and these are forage. Let me just organize this so things that are forage show up at the front of the list. Uh, flowers? No. F they, they should probably also be considered forage, really. Uh, let's get all of these in there. Uh, that can go in there as well. The dandelion can go in there. Now, flowers, I'm going to move across. Seeds can be in there, I guess. Um, the pine tar? Not sure about those. But I'm going to keep this, the, the coral and stuff in there as well. That is definitely forage. Those are resources. I mean, certainly certain things show up as, as different. Um, like some things are forage, some things are not, etc., etc. And it actually says on them what, what they're considered. Does make it a little bit easier. Um, I will keep the flowers in here as well. Because we grow... Well... No, actually, we don't grow sweet peas. Or crocuses. 
Or crystal fruit, for that matter. We, we really don't grow it. Coconut, we don't grow. That's also forage. And, and the wild plums. Oh, actually, no, the plums are fruit. And we... I, is there a plum tree? No, I don't think there is a plum tree. I could be it could be quite wrong on that one, though. But uh, I'm going to consider the plum forage as well for the time being. Let's organize this. I guess then the seeds are coming out. They can go elsewhere. Oh, yeah, it kind of makes sense to have them in there, but... Uh, the crystal fruit's definitely going somewhere else. The crocuses, I'm going to keep the four-star crocuses. Actually, we will have the tree seeds in there because I, I I full on think that they're they're forage. Mix seeds they can go and live in the greenhouse. Crocuses that can stay with me. Uh that can come out. These just general resources can come out. Actually at that point I've got enough room to put those in there. Um You know what? I, I guess there's no good reason not to have those in there because they, I forage slash nature, um, natural resources, things that you're not processing. Yeah, that that makes a bit of sense. The clay can, can live in there as well. I'm giving that. Really, I'm moving things around. Okay. And is there anything that I want to drop off in there? No, not particularly. The resource pack that can go and be inside. Okay, given that, let's uh, move some things around. We want the crystal fruit in here. That's where that lives. And the resource pack can be over here. Sorry, the uh, battery pack can be over here. I would say, for the time being. Until we got a better place for it, that that's going to be where it lives. I mean, I could put the rat couch down. Just occurred to me. Um... It'll bother me too much, though, to have them different colors. <laughs> it really will. So I'm going to leave it there for the time being. All right, we're at 10.30. And I, I'm sorry that it is taking me a little while to get through all of this. Uh, the eggs, though, we can put these into the chicken coop. And, oh, a new baby duckling hatched. Frongus. No. <laughs> Frongus, awesome name, but no. You shall be duct tape. Duct tape the duck. Perfect name. Perfect name. And uh, we need we need to pet duct tape the duck. Duct tape is trying to sleep. Stop bothering duct tape. You scallywag, you. Okay, well, pop that in there. Um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I think a chicken coop like this can only hold um, four. Uh, sorry, eight. We're going to have to get this upgraded to the next tier of barn before that is you to hatch. Uh, well, actually, given that, we don't need to put the... I was going to put that egg into the chest, which is why I went in there, but we don't need to worry about that now. But that's now going to be our, our highest priority in terms of buildings. We need to get that upgraded to the next tier. Ooh, why, where have I got the autumn seeds? Oh, I may have gotten rid of them, actually. Uh... The winter seeds can probably go as well, let's be honest. Yeah, okay. But the mixed seeds, they can be in there. Maybe I'll get rid of them over time. Maybe I won't. It isn't a huge issue for me either way, I don't think. Do I have those seeds anywhere? Did I store them? No, I don't think I did. Well, that's marvellous. That is going to stick around, though. I'm going to keep that chest there. Um, for just various things. Various high-quality goods, but... That being said, probably not that necessary, really, when I think about it. It probably isn't that necessary. Um, in fact, at this point, I could just move all of this over to the greenhouse. Uh, yeah, I'm going to move all of it into the greenhouse. Uh, or, or maybe just some of it. That, um... In fact, I'm not actually even going to keep most of this. I'm going to sell most of it. We don't need it. I'll keep those because they're decent gifts. In fact, I could just have a gifts chest, I suppose. Um, sell that one. Sell you. I 
don't need the blackberries. I, I really don't. We'll get rid of the blackberries. Yeah, they're forage anyway. And, well, there is probably something I can cook with that that I'm not thinking about right now. But for the time being, uh, we we can just use this as a, as a sort of gift chest if we absolutely wanted to. And there's a, there's a certain appeal to that idea. 24 golden pumpkins. Um, I guess we can store those in there too. Um, and the melons. Okay, everything else though. That can come with. And we'll store it over here because eventually I'm going to want to turn into seeds and then grow more of it. We'll see how that goes over time. Drop off these. The, definitely the sunflower seeds. Strawberries, no. Don't need to make more strawberries. Definitely those, though. Definitely the grapes. Actually, no. We're not going to do that with the grapes. And the reason why I'm not going to do that with the grapes is because we will end up with too many. We don't need any more cranberries. And we don't need really any more blueberries because we're already growing them, thinking about it. We definitely don't need strawberries. Tomato, I think we could do with an extra tomato plant, and these can definitely be seedified. But actually, everything else in there... Yeah, we're good. Okay. Now, I know there's been so much back and forth in this episode, and I do apologize, but hopefully we're not going to have to faff around for a little while. So this one is going to be forage... Uh, sorry, uh, this one's going to be forage. No, no, come on. You. This one is going to be forage. I'm going to make it a nice sort of, um, yeah, an orange to to work with that. And we don't need the blueberries. They can go. We don't need the cranberries. We've now got enough that are being grown that we can just have as many as we want whenever we want. The sunflowers are staying with us. The grapes are staying with us. And you are going to be put into the chest over here put that in there okay uh, I wonder what this will be then uh, because we've got the chest in the greenhouse for our produce anything we keep that isn't for seeds is just going to be turned into something in the uh, the kegs and the like so there'll be different chests for those I guess this could genuinely be a gift chest and for a gift chest, I guess we could go with something like super bright blue, maybe? Mm, perhaps. Regardless, this one should be a darker, because it's it's kind of my mining industrial stuff. This is for my super high quality things. Eventually, many things in there will be iridium quality, I'm sure. This is for monster loot, so actually I'd kind of like that to be red. And uh, so this one could be purple. There we go. We'll just we'll just have things that I know are good gifts. That that specific people specifically like these gifts. And if I'm only carrying it around for it to be a gift, then I may as well have it in there. Um, fried egg, for example. That's a gift. I More than anything else. Same with the pink cakes. They can be in there for gifts. Same with the crocuses. They can be in there for gifts as well. The dandelion is not a gift. The dandelion I'm wearing on my shirt. It's the wrong day. It isn't uh, Keith Goyle Dowie Sant, but uh, as a result, I shall put it in there. And then it shall stay. I wish I could put it out on display. Alas, I cannot. Uh, I'll pop in the dish of the sea. Farmer's lunch. The two farmers' lunch that I've got, actually. The rest are coming with me. And with that, I think we're more or less done with today's episode. My goodness, it's been a long one. It's been like an hour-long episode. I hope that'll make up for the fact that we didn't have a an episode yesterday. Again, things are catching up with me with, with everything I'm doing with preparing for the move. But you get the remake a lot of money. 90... Oh, my God. I've just been sat on all this cash all this time. We made... 6,750 of the cranberries we had alone. 3,120 of just 10 silver star melons. Made a decent amount on the mayonnaise, a little bit on the strawberries, a little bit on the blueberries. We made a huge amount of forage. Just look at all the money that we made there. That is crazy sauce. And then quite a lot on the blackberries. We had an awful lot of blackberries, to be fair. 1,480 on those blackberries. And just a little bit on this as well. Uh, we made a reasonable amount on the four seasons. Oh, maybe I 
Maybe I should have... Uh, I'm not sure. I, I'll, I'll have a look at the video and see how much we made off all of the various uh, snow-related things. Winter forage. And whether we would have made more getting the seeds. Because two of them made 60. Maybe, maybe that would have been okay. But either way, we made 19,569. That's a good end to an hour's worth of video. And our chests are a little bit better organized. Eventually, I'm going to have to move things around a little bit more. Just because the chests are in the best place. And as I make specialist areas, especially once I've got the sheds and I can have specialist things in those, I'll be moving chests in there. And over time, we're going to get more organized. Hopefully, we won't go back to a point where everything is just randomly jammed in chests and I don't know where to look for stuff. Hopefully. We'll keep our fingers crossed on that. Right now, most things have got a place which is theirs, and I'm happy with that. And look at our, look at our house. I think uh, just moving a, little, a few things away and tidying up some of the clutter really has opened up this space. But I'm going to have that there as well, just because I, I, I really like it. In fact, in fact, before I do anything else, come on, go there. There we go. No, you stay there. Um, maybe actually. It's kind of kind of looks it looks okay, but nah, no. There we go. That is it from me. I hope you've enjoyed, and will be joining me for the next. As ever, remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't. But I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.